Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shobha Badigir. I am a consultant in pediatric hemato-oncology and bone marrow transplantation in Mazumdar Shah Medical Center, a unit of Narayana Health, Bangalore. I would like to talk about thalassemia major. Thalassemia major is a blood disorder that affects children from birth. It is a blood disorder which affects red blood cells, particularly the hemoglobin. Because of this disorder, the child develops anemia at the age of 6 to 7 months after which, if the blood is not transfused every three to four weeks, the child will succumb to the disease at the age of five years. Thalassemia major is a hereditary disorder which is usually seen when both the parents are traits. Trait is a condition where genetically they have thalassemia but it is not so severe to develop disease. The child will carry on the genes from both the parents and develop what is called thalassemia major and become transfusion dependent. So how do the parents know that the baby has thalassemia? At the age of six to seven months, the child becomes pale. The abdomen can become distended because an organ called spleen becomes big. So when the child is tested, the hemoglobin will be very low at the level of requiring transfusion. Before transfusion, the child undergoes a test called hemoglobin electrophoresis, which confirms the presence of thalassemia major. A genetic test can also be done which will again confirm the type of thalassemia major whether it is beta thalassemia or e beta thalassemia which are seen in our country. Now once the diagnosis is made, the child will need blood transfusion every 3 to 4 weeks in thalassemia major. This will have to be continued lifelong unless it, the child undergoes a curative treatment called bone marrow transplantation. By the time the child receives around 10 transfusions, the iron level in the blood becomes very high and this iron can get deposited in various organs and cause various health issues like growth retardation, liver problems, hormonal problems, diabetes, etc. To prevent this, the child will have to be put on what is called iron chelation, which will also be lifelong to prevent the complications because of iron overload. If the parent is aware of what is called bone marrow transplantation, then bone marrow transplantation has to be given to all these patients after taking their consent because it is highly curative. For bone marrow transplantation, we need a healthy donor who will donate their stem cells to this patient. The healthy donor can be a matched related donor, a sibling or a related donor or a half transplant that is from one of the parent or a matched unrelated donor. We give what is called preparatory chemotherapy or preparatory immunosuppression for the patient if the patient is older than two years. And after the preparation, we give what is called high dose chemotherapy for the patient. And with on a pre-scheduled date, we transfuse these stem cells taken from the donor. In a period of three to four weeks, the patient will find that the donor cells are growing in their body, which is called engraftment. And if these cells don't have any reaction in the body, then the patient is almost cured at the end of six months. By the end of six to eight months, all the medicines are slowly tapered and stopped. And by the end of one year, the patient is almost free of all the medications, including transfusion. After this, the child will undergo what is called vaccination at a pre-scheduled date. And this child is then certified to be cured of thalassemia. Such a child can go to school like any other normal child and will have to be in regular monitoring under the transplant physician for growth monitoring, hormonal assessment and to make sure the child grows normally without any problem. In general, thalassemia is highly curative with bone marrow transplantation. Instead of going through three weekly transfusion, complications of iron overload, it is better to break this bone marrow transplantation at an appropriate age before the complications have set in. Thank you.